I'm not claiming I know anything. So yeah. you are going to state your case here. I, I know very little. All of us know. We, all I know is every day I learn more, right? Every day we all learn more, right? So there's always more to learn. But what I do know for a fact is that, you know, God is in complete control of all of what's going on in our world right now, you know, and everything we know is and will change soon. We're at a moment in time that we talked about as well. And basically the, the essence is, is when this event goes down, no one knows. We don't know the day God is going to do this because it's a secret. Just like if God spoke to Moses and told Moses the Red Sea is going to part and, and everybody knew, Pharaoh would not have gone in. Pharaoh right. would not have gone into the Red Sea. It's so important to understand that fact. David, this is two and a half thousand years of prophecy stands the test of time. Every part of it has happened except for this last part. We get to watch the fall of Mystery Babylon. The there. fall of the cabal. And this is going to be, like I talked before, you know, the best year we've ever seen, the best of times. We've the ever best seen. year is this year? Yes, it starts this year. Are you it sure about that? August. Yeah, I'm going to show you the time on how I calculate this. But also in the worst of times, because those that went against God, this is going to be their worst next three and a half years starting this year that they've ever imagined it's going to be so horrific See, this is why i like to have you on you bring my hopes up so but there's going to be some bad things that happen before all of this happens correct yes yes and then yes. where does this line up or what what part of the calendar is this like you're saying soon oh yeah yeah so Kent christmas julie green hank kuhneman uh, diana larkin Three prophets of, of very, uh, very well-respected prophets, every one of them have stated the angel of death is on the earth right now. Mm. The angel of death is the angel that visited Pharaoh, killed his firstborn, and all of Egypt's firstborn, including the animals, waiting for God to give instruction on when to strike. Pharaoh did not release Israel until he took away Pharaoh's most prized possession, his firstborn. And that was a sudden death, and it was precision strikes across all of Egypt while he passed over Israel, okay? We're about to see us the strike of the angel of death. I don't know the day it's going to happen. I don't know how it's going to happen because this is a secret. But I. Do but you have a window. You have a window. Yes. And so he gave them three and a half years to turn from their wicked ways. So we're coming up on three and a half years. Oh, you nailed it. Okay, so let's talk. <laughs> so here we go. Now let's talk scriptures because it's important to analyze scripture. What does Daniel 12 verse 7 say? God actually tells us how long they got. It will be for a time, times, and a half a time. So a time is a year, 360 mm -hmm. days. Times is two years. And a half a time is a half a year. Huh, three and a half years so there it is january 12th 2020 1260 days takes you to the end of june june 25 so there is your evil window right there so starts here january 12th 1260 days june 25 we don't know the exact day but i'm gonna explain this to you so look at the window of time here what you're seeing is right here so you've got January 12th, 2020, 1260 days takes us to the end of June. Then you got a 45 day window. And then August 9 onwards begins the next 1260 days or three and a half years forward. And then in that time window, we're going to have 45 come back here this fall to rebuild the collapse, the financial collapse that happened within the world. And then you're going to have, have to have the, the builder come back and rebuild what God got the glory for and what God destroyed. And so then we're going to get um, back into what's called the gold backed, um, you know, money system. So 45 reinstates a money system backed by gold and silver. So we return to the gold standard. You're going to see gold shoot to 4,000, you know, in a heartbeat Jeez. when the stuff goes, you're going to see silver shoot to $600 an ounce. Okay. And that's just the start because Matthew talks about blessings, 30, 60 hundred fold well if you multiply the price of silver right now only by 30 that's already 600 okay so we're going to see immense blessings like you can't even imagine financially that are coming we got prophetic words that are out there about angel of death who hasn't struck you know that hasn't struck yet but but hold on when you say massive die-offs okay yeah sudden worldwide deaths yes. what are you really saying here because that, that's a big statement to make who are we going to see die? Are there going to be people this and we can't say that? No, it has nothing be... to do with that. 
what does it have to do with? All we can do is look back in history. When the angel of death showed up to Pharaoh, he passed over Goshen. What that means, passing over Goshen means Israel was in Goshen. Israel were God's children. The angel of death did not touch any of God's children. He went after the evil ones firstborn. So the mass die-offs would be a sudden event that cannot be explained, but it will have everything to do with the evil ones and their evil agenda. If you think it's scary right now, oh, no, no, you haven't seen scary yet. It's going to get worse. It's going to get worse. And this is going to be the death of the United States. The United States we know is about to die. It will be the death of the United States like what happened to Lazarus. He was dead. He was put in the tomb. Jesus Christ was dead. He was put in the tomb. But then you will have the resurrection. This is the baptismal moment. The death to life. The United States will be reborn. So that's why the United States will be the safest place to live in the world during end times. Because evil's never coming back. It's, they are going to be freaked out what God's about to do to them. Because why? We have a covenant with God, just like Israel. And we are brother-sister relationship. And they're never going to get Israel. And they're never going to get the United States. We live in biblical times. In a single day, the kings of the earth will weep and wail.